Hello and welcome to As One Guidance. I am Jason, and today I want to talk about, you know, what is your twin flame doing on this journey? Like, you're you're struggling and suffering through this whole thing, and you know, not enjoying one second of it. Um, what are they doing? You know, if you are, let's just say that you had you were a fly on the wall throughout their side of this, their perspective from this whole thing, you know, what is it that they're doing? Or let's just say that, you know, you're, you have a pair of binoculars and you're constantly watching for them from afar and, uh, you know, spying on them and whatever. Uh, by the way, that's stalking. So I would stop that immediately. However, um, so they're feeling and they're the way that they're handling this is the exact same way that you're handling this. They're feeling all the things that you're feeling. If you're numb to your feelings, they're numb to their feelings. If you're angry and sad and and <clears throat> you know whatever else, whatever other emotions that you are feeling, you know they're they're all of these things. And you're reacting to it one way and they are, you know, reacting to it however they're reacting to all of these emotions. Uh, there's no way for you to just sit there uh, behind like some kind of viewing glass and, you know, document their, the whole process that's, that, that's unfolding for them, right? So you're aware of, of of this whole journey and you're aware of what twin, twin flames are. And, you know, if, if you are, uh, doing your due diligence and really investigating and, and then, and then on top of that, really diving into yourself and healing yourself and loving yourself, uh, that's great. But if you're only focused on what it is that they're doing, um, you know, you're just, you're really wasting your time and all of your focus is on the outside of you and it's not going to bring anything inside of you because you're the only one that can provide that. You're the only person that can provide your happiness or, you know, the things that you actually want to create in your reality, you're the only person that can provide that for yourself. And there is uh, a very interesting thing that happens is that, you know, you are res only responsible for you. You're responsible for loving you. You're responsible for, for your happiness. You're responsible for, uh, the, the, the way that your life unfolds. Your twin is responsible for their own happiness. You're res they're responsible for the way their life unfolds. When you, as you, as you co-create this entire journey together and heal yourselves, you come together and you still co-create your lives. However, you're still doing it from your perspective, and they're still doing it from their perspective. There's n this isn't uh, a, a time where once you get together, there's, you know, then you can fall back into, um, all right, you know, we split this, we split this relationship down the middle 50-50, and I do this, and they do this, and, and uh, you know, I'm responsible for providing uh, the protection and they're responsible for, you know, pro providing the tenderness and love and it doesn't work like that. It's not like that at all. You provide all of those things for yourself because you're the only one that can provide that for yourself. This isn't, a union is not a relationship. A union is a union. In other words, you're in union with yourself. 
You're both in union with yourself. You're both in union with God. And you're also in union with each other. But first and foremost, it's taking care of you. And making sure that all the, the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed with, within your own life. You know, you can't, you can't provide that for someone else. It's just not possible. Right? So if you're, if you're still focused on, oh, I'm, I'm, I feel so bad and I, I miss them and my, my heart feels like it's ready to explode or it's being ripped out of my, out of my chest. And, um, you know, my mind is telling me that they're just having a grand old time and they're living it up. And, you know, the, they are, they're, they're having like the best life ever without me. Ask yourself if you know that to be true. How, how, how do you know that to be true? Or is it just a lie or illusion that you're telling yourself because your ego is feeding that to you? The truth is, if you feel in your heart, connect your heart to theirs, you'll know exactly how they're feeling. The truth is, if you get to know your own feelings, if you really, really get super honest with how you're feeling... Like really feeling, not the fake facade that you put on to make it to make it seem like you're joyous and happy and and everything's perfect in your life, but your real real feelings that come from here. That's how they feel. You're one being. You cannot separate your feelings. If you really want to know what they're doing, if you really want to know what they feel, feel. Feel your own. Feel within yourself. Now they may you know, put on that show or put on that happy face that everything's perfect. But if you really feel what you're what's inside of you, that's how they really feel. It's very, very simple. You cannot feel something. You cannot be going through something without them going through the same exact thing. And not that that should... um, that shouldn't, you know, make you any ha- you know, happy or sad. You can't say, well, I'm suffering, so, and they look happy, so I would really prefer if, if they were suffering also. That's not unconditional love. You are not, first of all, you're not, you're not loving them, and second of all, you're not loving yourself. By wanting somebody else to suffer, regardless who it is. You're not doing any justice for yourself if you want them to be having as bad of a time as you are. That's why it's con- you'll constantly hear me say it, love yourself, take care of yourself, be happy with yourself, now, right now, right now, right now. Do all of those things right now for yourself. You're not there yet, work toward it. Work toward that happiness, that love. You make that decision to work toward uh, having all these things and being, actually being love, actually being happy, being joy, being at peace. They work toward that also. That's a core decision. 
So take care of yourself. Love yourself. This journey is for you and you alone. The cherry on top is that you get to be with the person that was designed for you and created with you. Right? So visit asoneguidance.com. Uh, book a free consultation. Uh, check out my coaching services. And you know, leave a comment if you'd like. And I will see you next time. Take care.